what's up kingdom family welcome back to the keys to the kingdom where we drop all the keys to the kingdom dr g is in the building if you are new to the channel come on and join the royal family okay because we are kings and queens actively living out our purposes full of positive vibes changing lives and loving on our lord right alrighty so if that is your agenda come on and join us all right hit that subscribe button i love you and i'm grateful to have you here with me shout out to my faithful family i love y'all so much y'all be holding it down in the comments and i'm so 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 appreciative of all of you okay i'm going to give brief shout outs we got my girl lanisha in the building hello we have my girl mariah in the building hello we have my girl india in the building hello queens hello hello and we have my girl claire in the building hello hello god bless bless you god bless you i love you sisters thank you for sowing your seeds okay i will watch over these pray and cover them to make sure that they continue to grow beautifully and abundantly thank you thank you so much god bless you family the way that god works with me okay this word is going to be called protect your womb and in our quiet time when he puts me on these fasts like and i'm gonna do a video on fast eventually but sometimes it's three days sometimes it's five days sometimes it's seven days sometimes it's 10 21 you know like it, it's an array of uh type of fast that he places me on but long story short during these fasts i'm doing intensive healing i'm doing intensive purging i'm doing intensive decluttering and um really cleansing my bloodline healing my bloodline right but christ is doing it through me and so the way that he works with me personally is that he warns me before something is going to happen so like he <laughs> he warns me in the holy spirit i invite your presence into this video um most importantly because it's a very it kind of has the potential to be sad right um what i'm going to tell y'all soon but <sighs> Um, he warns me before my attacks happen so I know how to respond and so I'm aware of what's going on with me right so I always say to my clients God will give you oversight insight and foresight because that's how he works with me so when I say oversight he gives me as um, a, a messenger of his will I don't really like to call myself an intercessor or prophetic whatever prophet prophet with prophetess <laughs> i don't even know what y'all be calling us but anyway i just i do the work of the lord right so when i hear from him i deliver his messages what he told me to do and that's it but anyway usually i'm um behind the scenes praying a lot because he does use me um in my intercessor re-gift right to stand in the gap for people and then um what he does is the oversight piece is i have to oversee things so he'll give me um a download in my spirit whether it's through a dream or whether it's through a vision about what someone else is going through and so now i have to oversee that situation right so that's your oversight that you might notice god is dealing with you in um another thing that he does is gives you insight because if he's going to put you in charge of over people to be over people not like you're over them in power but you're over them covering them you have to be able to deal with your own stuff up stuff stuff first excuse me you have to be able to know what's deep inside of me what's hurting me what's um still plaguing me so that i can get rid of those blockages get out of those strongholds right and so god will give you insight and that's self-awareness family he's going to give you self-awareness on what's going on inside of you right what's going on in your bloodline what has been hindering your family because that's what you're going to be doing as a generational cycle breaker you're going to be breaking the cycles the patterns the repetitive things that you and your family have been going through nobody else has been able to cleanse it nobody else has been able to break out of this pattern this cycle but you will be the one you are the chosen one that's why you are called to be the chosen one okay family so he's going to give you insight he's going to help you get your stuff together first and that's why some of y'all are working with me now in counseling praise god i love you <laughs> my infinitely healed counseling family okay Okay, visit infinitely hills don't don't forget that but anyway and then the last thing he'll do is he'll give you foresight okay so he's going to tell you the future he's going to tell you the ending from the beginning he's going to let you see the future he's going to give you glimpses of the future and that's why sometimes you're having these encounters with um either your kingdom spouse or just divine encounters with people who are eventually going to be like your business partner so for example i um i could meet somebody let's say in 2010 but I might not know their purpose in my life in 2010, but then God will bring them around to me again in 2019, right? And I will realize that, oh, this person is um, applicable or effective in my life in this capacity during this specific time. But I had to meet them for whatever reason back then. So we, our paths had already crossed. So our paths 
paths could already be connected if that makes sense to you right so as um a child of god as a worker for god as a um seer or whatever spiritual gifts he has in, uh, deposited inside of you family he will give you oversight insight and foresight okay so this prophetic word that i'm about to give you today is um it's a bit of a prophetic story but it was god giving me um insight and foresight on what the enemy is going to be doing not only to me but to all of us okay so i have a word and then i have a dream that he gave me the word um i was looking at stephanie i might say her last name wrong ike or i i don't know but she works with um pt pastor Tourette, which is sarah jakes roberts husband um and she's on their channel on youtube and she was speaking about your reputation like how powerful your name is and um when god was minister ministering this to me this message to me and my spirit you know he was really making it um imperative to let me know like hey you're about to give birth soon um and i don't know if this is like a natural or a spiritual baby right but like you're about to give birth soon and um the name is oh he's telling me natural okay yes you're, i'm going to have a physical child right i'm going to be a mother soon and so with this baby when this baby comes this baby has a mission this baby has a kingdom purpose and so the name that i want you to name this person is going to be very significant it's going to be very important so i was like okay god what you want me and my husband to name this baby because you know he tells me everything else so i'm like okay what you want us to name this baby because he's saying it's not going to be my husband's last name and so clearly it's going to be a son right <laughs> we gonna see but um so it's not going to be like a junior and it's not going to be something to say if it is a baby girl it's not going to be something like close to britney like brianna no it's going to be something so ordained by god something so specific something so significant and unique that the lord wants me to name this baby because it is going to have that much power in the world that much authority it is going to reign that much like god is literally going to use this baby to be out here like uh, wilding okay like how christ was okay praise god and so I was, you know, God was dealing with me about this reputation and this name. And so he led me to Revelation. Um, so I watched the video. I want you to follow me. I watched Stephanie Ike video speaking about reputation. Then he led me to Revelation. Uh, let me tell you. Chapter 12, verse. I read up to verse 13, but I'm just going to read. Um, and these are not prescription glasses. These are actually glasses for glare. I don't know. Um, I've been looking at my computer a lot being a doctor, okay, and a counselor. Um, and so, you guys, my eyes be straining. And so, my cousin gifted me these glasses. So, I hope y'all like them. This is, uh, all right, praise God. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry about that family. <laughs> I got distracted. But I feel the sun in my eyes. So, yes, chapter 12, verses, just read up to 13, okay? But, um, so, he was telling me, and I'm going to give you the translation, it says in the first of the seven signs a woman is described as a picture of Israel she has been called by God and is clothed with the Sun meaning she reflects the power of God my goodness the moon is under her feet indicating that she is the nation God has marked as special my Queens hello are ya are you paying attention are you following tune in tune in okay um the moon is under her feet indicating that she is the nation god has marked as special her 12 crowns correspond to the 12 tribes of israel she is with child and a picture of the messiah she is something just fell on my car lord god she is with a child and a picture of the messiah so some of some see this passage as a reference to satan okay um it says taking one third of the angels with him when he fell from heaven satan took one third of the angels with him when he fell from heaven his only goal in mind is to destroy the child who is an image of the messiah <sighs> so family my bible is so let me see if i could get y'all to see this hold on but I was pretty much taking notes at the bottom. I just want y'all to see it briefly because I'm going to I'm going to give you the interpretation, okay? It says um 
pretty much what you need to know, family, is that when I when God was speaking to me about reputation and being prepared to have this natural baby and the name, okay, and the legacy and the lineage, and then being made aware that Satan only has one goal in mind um, to destroy the child, right? To destroy the image of the Messiah, who is pretty much going to have the power of God. He's going to be able to change the nation. Um, what he wants you to know is that your marriage and your lineage, Satan wants to destroy it. Satan wants to destroy your legacy, okay? So you need to start preparing for this. You need to start being prepared to fight and cover your womb. Um, not only take your, what's the word? Take your womb very seriously, like the, the, the things you're going to be giving birth to very seriously, but choose even when it comes down to choosing the name of this child seek god on what the, 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 those names are going to be so that you can cover that baby's name in prayer too because satan is lurking he wants to he wants to uh destroy okay what god is bringing to you what god is gifting you with so i read this on 11 14 2021 the same day that i watched the video on youtube god gave me a dream the night of 11 14 2021 up um to november 15 2021 so that's four days from now because it's november 19th and so i woke up at 5 a.m and i have specific names in here because he actually used real characters in my life but for the sake of uh confidentiality privacy and trying to you know save people reputation i guess <laughs> i'm going to um use different character names but i woke up november 20 november 15 2021 at 5 a.m and i started writing this so it was a spiritual attack um, in this dream that I went through, right? And God had me read this so I could know what was happening to me. And people have also reached out to me about this, um, like paralysis, sleep paralysis, like when you feel like you can't move, but I'm gonna go deeper into that um, after I tell you the dream. So all day, like within the dream, I was being uh, distracted, like rerouted. Like I was traveling and I was going the wrong way. And I always had to like circle back. I always had to circle back. I always had to come back around. And so I was in a place and I asked, um, it was a city. I was in a town and I asked one of the girls that I knew. I was like, hey, are you still braiding here? And she was pregnant at the time. And what she said was to me like Brittany, your stomach is getting flatter but mine is growing right and so she's like you getting flatter but i'm getting fatter because she's having a baby and so she was like yeah i still braid and then i went back outside to grab some stuff to make dinner um we were going to be having mac and cheese that night and so there's a woman let's say person a she already sound like like i could physically hear the sounds of her giving birth like she was screaming like she was giving birth and um we were already eating at the time and so person b like her face kept changing to different demonic people it was like different people like and when i say demonic people family i mean people who god has revealed to me were sent as devil helpers like they were from the enemy they were not from my soul family so that's what i mean by demonic people um uh but god will reveal to you who's your you know who with you and who not with you okay see you privately but anyway so the person who originally was i asked are you still braiding here she came and um what happened with me getting lost in traffic okay i don't want to be too specific because it's going to be confusing for y'all so let me just give y'all the point maybe because when i write my dreams family i'm writing every significant detail and it's like it's confusing if you're not in the dream i feel like so let me just give you the the gist of it so i turn around i see another girl let's say person c I see another lady. She has a sonogram in her hand. Sonogram in her hand, and I say, "Did you have your baby already?" And she said, um, "Yeah, the light skin baby that's crying. Yeah, that's mine." So I was like, "Oh, okay." Like I was excited that she had this baby, but then the baby starts um, screaming. So she starts screaming back at the baby, and the baby lifts her right foot up. It's a baby girl in a crib. The baby lifts her right foot up, and the girl person C starts hitting the baby's leg down. Starts hitting the baby's leg down. Then another person, another demonic person, comes and um 
starts banging the baby like picks the baby up and starts banging the baby's head on the side of the crib banging the baby's head on the side of the crib and i said i said the person's name because i know this person in waking life i said the person's name with authority and i said you do not do that <laughs> like y'all should have heard me in this dream it was so like intense i was like whoa what happened right but i was like you do not do that and um the girl the demonic person right she was feeling guilty and she went and ran to the bathroom when i spoke so then it turned into a mother let's say person d now i hope you're following these persons person d was laying in the crib another demonic person okay she was laying in the crib now this is a, a um a mother like an actual mother so maybe the grandmother of the child all right family um she was laying in the crib next to the baby who wasn't able to talk at the time right because she was just getting banged up beside the the um, crib and the grandmother was speaking and she said this lady the person who ran to the bathroom she's a mean mother and i said she's mean and the grandmother shook her head yes and so person e i don't know if i said d or e yet but e came out of nowhere and said the person who ran to the bathroom they don't know how to parent or what it's like to be a mother that person wanted saving but i couldn't save her family at this point my physical body started trembling i felt my body shaking like i could not move to get out of this dream i literally wrote that I don't know if you can see that but i was like my physical body started shaking i could not move to get out of this dream my chest and my stomach was hurting slightly too as well and so to get out of this dream all i said was jesus name i was like jesus jesus i was like wake me up in jesus name wake me up and so um pretty much i was like I, my body felt so tense my body felt so tight and it was I started hearing I could hear people talking to me but I couldn't see them I couldn't hear them and it felt like my body went into a trance honestly and that is a demonic attack anything like sleep paralysis where you feel like you can't move and you can't um, get yourself out of sleep and you're like shaking and going through these things it's a spiritual it's a spiritual attack happening on your body right um so that's what people be asking me like oh is this from god or is this from no that is a demonic attack happening to you okay um and you need to wage war with the devil don't allow the demon to play with you cast that baby out all right anyway family so the point is protect your baby get ready to protect your womb okay i was totally disturbed completely and utterly disturbed at what i was seeing i wish y'all could be with me because i literally visually seen this happening and it was very disturbing to me um like i mentioned it was a baby girl who was in the crib and the bible already told me that satan was going to try to destroy my baby my lineage and um that's another reason why these kingdom marriages are in delay or in wait because we are learning how to wage war we are learning how to fight we are learning how to protect our family unit we are learning how to even value families because to be quite honest if i could be a little transparent i never valued family because family didn't value me i was adopted and um i was rejected i had a, a ton of abandonment issues and so as an adult i was super independent i was super like on my own and just go with the flow i was always loving always giving always had a ton of friends like you know like a ton of people um are cool with me who are like my family but as far as like having blood family i didn't have that connection and as far as having a connection with my adopted family i didn't have that connection so to me as an adult i didn't value family until god started awakening in my spirit and giving me revelation like hey i'm preparing you to be a wife and he started doing that in october of 2018 he started letting me know like hey you're going to be a wife so i was like dang that means i gotta start prioritizing family <laughs> right like i need to actually start prioritizing family to build a family unit so that's what this time is about too for those people who can relate to me um and you know god has already been talking to you about this like hey start being more family oriented start cooking start making sure you're keeping up with your home start um 
envision envisioning what your goals and your values are going to be as a family how will you and this family resolve conflict how will you how will you and your husband or for my kings how will you and your wife resolve conflict in a healthy way how are y'all going to effectively communicate how do y'all want to save y'all money and budget and what to invest in you know it's a ton of things that i could go on and on about as it as it pertains to family and lineage and legacy but um i don't want to digress too much here uh let's see what else i was writing so also family this is what um the message is your baby your womb is either going to be a physical baby that you're giving birth to or a spiritual baby meaning you have dreams you have a purpose inside of you that's been deposited but satan keeps trying to tant he keeps trying to torment he keeps trying to take that away he keeps trying to put you in fear and give you anxiety and make you not want to stand out and go forth and do what the lord has been telling you to do why does god have to tell us to do something so many times and i'm sorry i'm getting a little frustrated but even with myself it's like if this was a life and death situation you would just do it right family why does god have to tell us to do something so many times for us to really believe like hey this is from god god said do this god said go here god said say this god said start this business god said start this ministry ministry god said go and marry that person like why does he have to keep repeating himself because if it was a life and death matter you know like why are we waiting until we gotta die like why are we waiting <laughs> till it's the end of the world to be like all right i'm gonna shape up i'm gonna do it no do not allow god to have to repeat himself more than once to you okay and i'm raspy because i'm tired okay i don't even want to really be on here but i gotta get this message out to y'all because we gotta fight the devil he's trying to attack our wounds okay he's trying to attack our babies our spiritual or physical babies and i'm not having that y'all already know i'm not having that okay i be laughing and hee hee ha with y'all but when it comes to the devil i don't mess around okay i get real serious <laughs> hold on family let me make sure i give y'all all of this um oh i also said i woke up and said to the devil get the hell out of here and i shut the door on them so some of you have the door open still have